there's a lot of firsts happening in my life, um, especially 2024. I'm sat here on the start finish line of the Hockenheim ring in Hockenheim, Germany. I had an opportunity to just sit here because the session's over. It's Friday, August 9th, 2024. And uh, yeah, we out here. I'm just interested here in talking a little bit off the cuff, a little bit on the topic, on the subject of discomfort and growth as it relates to my life and how I've been experiencing growth through discomfort. Um, so I'll dive right into it. This may be an episode of the Creatives Podcast. This may just be part of my vlog that I'm doing for this trip. This may just be a video journal that I never share with anyone. In any case, uh, yeah, we'll get into it. So. This year's been interesting in my life. I've grown professionally, I've grown emotionally, I've grown personally. And that is in part due to making difficult decisions, but also uh, leaping into the complete unknown uh, with opportunities and with just like decisions in personal life. So big things that have happened this year, Panel Media is growing. We're taking on a lot more responsibility for our clients. Uh, the team is growing. Uh, the commitment that we have for our clients is larger. So there is responsibility there. In the more personal life side of things, I got my first house, first place that is my own. Uh, that has been an interesting challenge and an interesting stress test, if you will, because I'm I've built a business that I now need to be sustainable to then sustain my life. Um, the business needs to be nurtured and watered like a plant and taken care of, and it has to now sustain my lifestyle and my life, you know, um, of being completely on my own and kind of fending for myself, if you will. So that's been an interesting pressure point, I guess. It's been liberating. It's been amazing. I've grown already so much in like, how long has it been? A month and a half? I've gotten out of a long relationship, which was a beautiful relationship, I will say. Uh, but, you know, things change, people change, and um, people grow apart. There's been a lot of changes in my life, and that's kind of why I've been quiet on the Creatives Podcast and on talking on camera. I suppose it's because I had very little creative energy, very little energy to give towards um, extracurricular stuff. Amidst all of this is where I started understanding the importance of discomfort and how when I am uncomfortable, and I'm not talking like uncomfortable like you got a wedgie, like I'm talking like emotionally uncomfortable and potentially financially uncomfortable, but calculatedly uncomfortable, not out of result of poor decisions, financially uncomfortable because of risks, calculated risks. These moments of discomfort are where I grow the most. Although I often just want to lay on a couch or sit outside in the sun and do nothing, I still kind of push myself towards that discomfort because that is where I find growth. That is where I find energy. And I heard an interesting insight on energy and efficiency and uh, this one person's framework mentioned that he measures the efficiency of an activity based on how much energy it gives him, how, how much, how energized is he at the end of it. So that's been very prevalent in my running journey. I've been getting a lot better at running. So as a kid, I never played sports. As a kid, I never ran. I didn't start running until I was 25 and I'm 27 right now. So it really wasn't that long ago. Running has been a really interesting personal journey of discomfort. Yet again, that's the theme of this. And I ran my first 15K this year. I ran my first 10K actually this year as well. And I ran my fastest 10K a couple of weeks ago, did it in 57 and a half minutes. And to, you know, to the pro runners, this might not be a lot, but to someone who did not grow up like as a sports person or I don't know, athlete, <laughs> sports person. Um, you're good. <laughs> yeah, you're good. There's people walking by. No, you're good. Don't worry about it. Just keep going. <laughs> no, no, I'm just recording a video. 
Yeah. <laughs> you want to be in it? <laughs> you want to be in it? <laughs> okay, let's do it. Do you speak English? A little bit, yes. What, what does it mean to be, like when you're, I'm talking about discomfort and growth. So like how do you find you grow when you're uncomfortable, like when you do hard stuff? I do hard stuff. I, do, I don't do hard stuff. No. No. <laughs> what do you do? I relax and share my life. <laughs> you don't push yourself to do hard stuff. Yeah, every every day, every day. Yeah, but yeah. do you find that you grow more when you do the when you push yourself? So that's the point. My English is not good enough. <laughs> <laughs> I think you get the point. I'm, that, that's why it would be funny. I'm, Ra I'm Ramsey, by the way. <laughs> but but I, I, I want to see myself in your camera, so that's why I'm sitting here. <laughs> I'm just recording some thoughts here. That's hilarious. I'm from Canada, by the way. Uh, Canada? Canada, yeah. 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 Oh, I'm real German. I'm with uh, Team Rinaldi. Ah, we're doing video. I see that. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah we're okay, doing okay. video for uh, Suelio Almeida. Okay. He's a Brazilian racing driver who started in the simulator. He used to race yeah. on simulators. Uh, and then last year was his first year in cars, and then that's his first LMP3 ever. He's driving LMP3 for the first time this ah, weekend. Great, great, yeah, great, so we great. came from Canada to race here. here, and then we'll go to Nürburgring next week. Yeah, yeah. great experience. For DTM, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, maybe we would uh, uh, meet you again tomorrow. Yeah, I'll see you again. In, in, your, in your... Yeah, we're in the box in the pit. somewhere, at, all, all the way at the other side. I asked him for, uh, for you. Ramsey. Ramsey? Yeah. I asked for Ramsey. Yeah, what was your name again? Carlson. Cal Cal I'll say Stan, it's easier. Stan? Yeah, yeah. Stan? Mario. Ramsey, Mario, Stan. Yeah. See you guys. <laughs> Cheers, yeah. boys. See, man, humans, humans, just humans. All you gotta do is, <laughs> like my cousin Jad said, all you need in life is 20 inch biceps and a charming smile. I don't have the 20 inch biceps yet, uh, but we'll get there. As I was saying, running, discomfort, that has pushed me a lot uh, because it's like a personal battle, personal journey of just like, you put your shoes on, you get your shorts, whatever, throw in the AirPods, send it. And it's like, it's just you versus you, and it's it's quite uncomfortable. It's painful. You know, you hurt, your legs hurt, your your, your lungs hurt, you know, everything just kind of, like, it's not necessarily fun, but it returns energy. So I suppose it's efficient based on the framework I was talking about earlier. So to tie this actually all back together, I'm in Germany right now. I'm here for 13 days. I had seven days of notice for this trip. Uh, it, within seven days, I had to basically continue operating and transition the operations to my team back in Ottawa. Shout out Ryan, shout out Andrew, shout out Cameron, shout out Felix. All the guys back in Ottawa holding it down while, you know, I'm out here with Suelio Almeida, who's blazing a trail in the world of motorsports and in the world of sim racing and he's kind of created a category of motorsports influencer i don't think there's anyone else at doing what he's doing and he literally had two guys already come up to him the weekend hasn't even started and they they knew who he was so really cool to see what independent creators can do in the world um but what i was saying is it was a lot of prep to get here and I've been working from the second I wake up to the second I go to sleep because I'm at the track shooting all day. We're running onboard cameras, we're running dialogue, we're filming a story, we're filming basically like a movie of like things that are happening here. That's been hard, uncomfortable because I'm in a foreign place, jet lagged and have a lot to do. But, but through all of this, I do find myself learning a lot and I find myself staying open to conversations, opportunities to learn, opportunities to network, opportunities to, to grow. By staying like kind of open, accepting the discomfort and settling into the discomfort, I have found immense growth uh, personally. And I find that, you know, when I settle back into normal day-to-day -day life, I just have a different appreciation for it and a different outlook on chilling, on the downtime. I find myself more able to appreciate uh, relaxation time and downtime and time with people that I enjoy spending time with. It's, it's interesting it, it, and it's ongoing, I will say. All of this is to, you know, I want to share my thoughts on discomfort so that, you know, you could reflect on your journey and see how maybe like 
discomfort serves you uh, and how potentially hard things actually energize you rather than take energy away from you. Because, you know, being in the world of digital media, a lot of things, I understand that a lot of, a lot of things and have a tendency to take from you. Uh, we are consumers, but things take from us, like things take our energy, they take our attention, they take our money. And it's nice to kind of like take that back, get your energy back, get your attention back, get your enthusiasm back. Like, I, I think that's immensely valuable. And I definitely see that like, we're in an interesting place because I do feel like there's like a shift collectively of like, people are like, hey, hey, wait a second. Like, you know, like, whoa, um, hold the phone you know, like open your eyes, smell the roses, you know, just like find peace in the chaos uh, because there is peace really, honestly, like is anything that we do that important um, aside from like the actual human to human relationships and the health and the, you know, self relationship. I feel like ultimately that is what uh, is matters. And I think about this a lot and I struggle with this a lot because because I have my own company and my own endeavors and I I struggle with like the idea of purpose and you know wondering like what am I doing what's the point of all this why am I doing this but I always kind of circle back to like video production and cameras and media whatever are a vessel that transports me to scenarios very unique scenarios where I then have the opportunity to connect with people in a really interesting way. And from it, we both grow and we all grow. And that is kind of the purpose of, that is what I've come back to as my purpose, my why, my what, whatever. So that's, uh, that's my thoughts, that's my thoughts. Um, as I sit here at 6.15 p.m. in Hockenheim, Germany, August 9th, 2024, with those lovely blokes that I just met on the start finish line. Legends have raced here. And I'm sat here on the start finish line. If you've made it this far into this video journal episode of the Creatives Podcast thing, thank you. Let me know how discomfort uh, and challenges have served you in your life uh, and how they may have energized you rather than taken energy away from you. We'll be back. We'll be back for more. There's going to be a lot more in the winter months. Summer has just been full of exploration and full of experimentation and full of just new stuff. So it's been hard to kind of anchor. And I also feel that as a host, in order to serve, you know, the Creatives Podcast and the audience and give you all a great experience, I kind of need to go off for a bit and live so that I can come back and share my perspectives and grow so I can then be a better interviewer, ask better questions. August 22nd, I will be hosting a live panel discussion at the Ottawa Design Club event uh, at Club Saw. Those are actually all going to be recorded and we're going to do some collabs of Ottawa Design Club and the Creators Podcast. But in the fall months and the winter months, we're going off. We're going to interview a lot of cool people and it's going to be great. So thanks for coming on this journey. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy this life because it's short. Although it may feel long, it is short. So enjoy it all and take care of yourself. I'll see you soon. Peace! Starfy! Ah.